welcome back. I'm here to give you a great listening exercise tip, all right? As you know, I have two kids and my son will be two years old now this month. And we only talk to him in English. We have never spoken directly to him, with him in Portuguese ever. So I'm going to leave a link to a video that I made about this here so you can have a look up here somewhere. Um, all right, so Dominic, my son, can talk a lot, okay? He actually talks more than an average. Average is like most, so the average. Uh, he talks more than the average kid his age, especially kids that listen to two or more languages. You know, he doesn't, we don't talk to him in Portuguese, but he listens to us talking to other people and everything. So, um, he talks a lot more. I actually made a list, because I am one of those moms, I made a list about what he knows and of all the words that he actually says, that he knows and he speaks and he, you know, uses. And I got more than 400 words about four weeks ago. So by now, I have no idea, but we're probably over 500, which is crazy. Um, obviously, I take credit for it because my husband and I talk to him in English only, but also he started watching Peppa Pig in English every single day from the age of about a year and three months-ish. And it's amazing how much vocabulary he has picked up, like learned, has picked up from watching Peppa. Just one example, the other day we were together and just out of the blue, like, what? just out of the blue, Dominic says, optician. And I'm like, what? No. What did you say? He goes, optician, very slowly, so that I really got it. And I thought to myself and my husband, no, well, he cannot be saying that. So random, like, doesn't random, like kids don't say this word. So I was like, all right then, what does the optician do? And he goes, glasses. Yeah. So we were thinking, how on earth, this is an expression like, how, how on earth he learned this word? And he was from Peppa Pig. This is just one example. There are so many examples I could give you. What I'm here to say is, do not underestimate, so think less of something. Don't underestimate the power of Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig is fantastic for so many reasons. It's real English, they speak slowly, but with real vocabulary people actually use. The way they communicate to each other, it's real, okay? And also, you have uh, something else about Peppa Pig which is fantastic. There is a narrator, there is a person narrating the story. So Peppa's talking to her mom, she's saying, Mommy, can I go outside and play? And the narrator says, Peppa wants to play outside. So unconsciously, you are starting to understand that when Peppa talks about herself, she goes, Mommy, can I play outside? I want to play outside. And when you're talking about someone else, like the narrator is talking about Peppa, he goes, Peppa wants to play outside. So I want Peppa wants. You are learning this too. So I think Peppa is just fantastic, seriously. And you learn about the culture in England because it's so British. It's just so British. I love it. And the best thing of all, you can do this with five minutes a day because each episode of Peppa Pig lasts around five minutes. So I'm going to leave a link to, to this channel that I normally get little videos from with English subtitles, all right, no problem. And you can do this for five minutes a day. Uh, the important thing is that you do this every day, that you keep going, do not stop, do not quit is a great verb. Like when you quit, you're like, stop it, okay, I quit smoking, I quit watching Pepper. I quit making videos for YouTube, like when people stop something. You know, I'm not gonna quit making videos, by the way. I like making videos. And also, it's a great way to show you what my work is about. So that's why I'm here, right? Anyway, this is my tip. Keep going and try to give Peppa Pig a go, all right? Do not underestimate it just because it's a cartoon. It's a great way to practice your listening and to learn lots and lots of vocabulary and grammar. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, click on like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel for more. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye.